When we make a kora, the skin is placed on the ground and the calabash is placed on top. Holes are cut around the edge of the skin and we thread a piece of cord through those holes and then draw the skin up by pulling on that cord. Then there's a process of lacing the cord from side to side to tighten and stretch the skin over the calabash. When the skin has dried a little bit, the handles and the cross brace are put in. So now I think uh, I will see my design first before I put the tacks. After that, tacks are put in to help secure the skin and the cord and the unwanted skin is cut away. Then holes for the sound, the sound hole and for the neck are, are made. The traditional tuning method is using uh, leather rings. In Mandinka it's called konso. These are made from one thin strip of rawhide woven around the neck uh, before it's attached to the kora body. Once all 21 or 22 are done. They need to be dried in the sun. That can, neck can then be attached to the core body and the strings can be put on. Can. Uh, some of you may have seen Aliu and Adam who've been down in the Arboretum there. And this Cora they've made over the weekend. They started on Friday with just the skin, the wood, uh, the strings, and they've put the whole thing together this weekend. They've built it together. So I think it's a fantastic feat.